What and why are dissonant chords? So dissonant chords adding an unpleasant sound. It doesn't sound like it should be there, but in used in the correct places, it can sound very, very amazing. Now we're gonna use half step intervals. So what that means is say you hit a D um, on a string below it, you're gonna hit it like a D sharp. So that's gonna add that dissonance. So what I like doing is, is the higher that I go, it, it, the more pleasantly unpleasant it is for my ear. And, I, and I'll show you right here. So we're going to go, I'll go way down the fret here. So we're going to go to the 20th fret on the third string and the 18th fret on the second string. So what I'm doing here is if you go to the 17th fret on the second string, it's the same note. Now with that index finger, bring it down a, uh, a half step value here. And that works anywhere. Say so you want to do a, a lower pitch sound to it, let's go to the 12th fret, 5th string, this is a 7th string guitar, and we're going to go to the 7th fret on the 4th string. Now, with that index finger, go up a fret here on the 8th fret. Now, here's the shape that I also like doing, you can do it anywhere. Um, we're just sticking to that half step value here. So with my middle finger here, I'm going to go to the fifth fret, fifth string. With my pinky finger here, I'm going to go to the third string, seventh fret, and to the second string, fourth fret with my index finger. I'm going to strum down from that sixth string. So if you have a sixth string guitar, you will strum all of them. So individually. Stick around for the bonus riff and I'll show you in context. Bonus riff time.